onwards we are going to stop at the union building i present to you the people manifesto of the eff this is the weapon that will be used against the enemy of our revolution the red beret leader julius malema delivering his party's blueprint for the upcoming general elections Addressing party members, Malema says, in the past three decades, nothing has changed for ordinary South Africans. 30 years ago, in 1994, the wealth of the country was concentrated in the hands of white majority. 30 years later, the wealth of South Africa is still in the hands of the white minority. 30 years ago, in 1994, more than 90 percent of informal settlement dwellers about Lalibasem Chondo Olo were black Africans and 30 years later today informal settlement dwellers, dwellers still look like me and you there are no white people in informal settlement the EFF leader vowed to increase amongst others the social grants to 4,180 rands monthly, while the party will also introduce graduate funds. Comrades, we are going to increase social grants. We want Abu Koko and Abu Mkulu to get 4,180 per month. We want veterans to get 4,220 per month. We want child support grant to be increased to 1,200 per month. We want disability, care dependency, and foster care increased. The EFF will introduce a graduate fund. Anyone who get metric and can't get a job will get 1,000 rand. Anyone who get a degree, can't get a job, will get 3,000 rand. Anyone who get an honors, without a job will get 4,000 rand. Malema also found that it will only take his party six months to end load shedding and 9 million jobs while at it. EFF is going to create 9 million jobs through stop load, stopping load shedding because we believe that through industrialization we can create jobs but we cannot industrialize if we still have load shedding. On education, the party still stands by its position that education will be a reality under the EFF. Malema urged South Africans to give the EFF a chance as the party has not been given a clear chance to prove itself. We are not part of the 1994 elite pact. We are not part of CODESA. We don't owe the Boers anything. We never went to Codessa with the Boers. We are a new generation with our own challenges. And therefore, when we say now, we must not apologize because we never promised white people that will never take the land. Tan Takatani, SABC News, Johannesburg.